What's up guys, it's Bucky, welcome to another PHP tutorial, and in this tutorial, I'm going to be talking about inheritance. Now, before I go on, you guys probably notice uh, something is different from this tutorial, from the last tutorials already, and that is because I'm working with a new text editor, and that is because I have a video uploading on my PC right now, so I had to hop over to my Mac to make these tutorials. So uh, I had to download this text editor called Text Wrangler, um, never used it before but they didn't have notepad plus plus for a Mac so anyways if I do something stupid like press a button or if I'm doing something weird then uh you know just let me know but anyways that's why I'm using the new text editor I actually when I uploaded this video I was gonna just play Call of Duty but I just texted my friend I'm like game time and he's like uh, I'm eating dinner then I'm gonna see my girlfriend and so anyways no Call of Duty for me tonight so uh, just making tutorials instead so good for you guys, bad for me. So anyways, let's get right into it. Inheritance. Now, inheritance is one of the key reasons why people prefer to use object-oriented PHP. Uh, one of the many reasons, but one of the biggest as well. Now, inheritance is a lot like clone. I think I taught you guys about clone last time. I'm not sure, though. It's pretty much inheriting all the methods and all the variables from one class it pretty much takes everything from one class and imports it into another class. So uh, if you ever like read about it in a book, they'll give you like 18 chapters about it, but that's basically all it is. So let's go ahead and get coding this. By the way, it's a lot different typing on Mac than it is PC. So yeah, you didn't need to know that. But anyways, class, let's go ahead and make a new class, the parent. Now, whenever you use inheritance, you always have to inherit from some class. It's like a hierarchy. Like whenever you inherit something, like if your grandma dies, there always has to be someone you inherit from. You just don't inherit inherit it from like God or whatever. So anyways, the order we say this in is the child inherits from the parent. So the parent is going to have the class with all the stuff in it. And the child class is going to be the class where all that stuff goes into. So anyways, let's go ahead and, and by the way, they don't need to be named the parent. I just want to make a very descriptive name so we don't get confused there. So you can name your class anything. Name it tuna fish ham sandwich for all I care. Anyways, go ahead and um, make a variable in here. Make sure it's public, by the way. Okay, okay, Mac. Going crazy on me already. Okay, public, and uh, name something stupid, like P1, and go ahead and name this like I am a variable. Make sure you spell it totally wrong. And let's go ahead and make a function, like function sum function. That looks like a pretty beautiful function right there. Okay, Mac, take it easy. I should name my Mac, Mac. There we go, tab. What the heck's this little swirly key over here oh anyways alright let's go ahead and just do something in this function like echo I am a funky monkey why not that sounds ridiculous so anyways so we have a class called the parent with variable and a function this is just a normal regular class but say we had another class right here called class the child and we're saying alright I made this other class called the child and what I want to do is I want to get this variable and this function inside this class but I'm way too lazy to copy and paste it because you know if I do that this can create a whole bunch of code anyways and you know pretty much lazy is just the biggest factor here so how can I get everything in here in here without having to retype it all well anytime you want to inherit all the stuff from some class what you need to do is this EXTENDS extends and write the name of the class you want to inherit from right after it so the parent looking good so anyways before I go on I want to say one thing whoever gave us the keyword extends I just want to tell you this is the worst choice of keyword ever this is called inheritance so why not make this word inherit or inherits from I don't know but anyways you have to use this dumb word extends and it basically means inherits from so now here's what's happening behind the scenes whenever you write extends the parent what you're telling PHP is this this class right here inherit everything from this class right here so even though there's nothing in this class 
PHP knows that it inherited everything in this class. So whenever we make an object that's of the child, and we can say, all right, the child has a variable called P1. Actually, let's just go ahead and type it. So let's go ahead and make an object, child object equals new the child. So again, what we're doing is we're making an object from this class right here. And you're saying, Bucky, there's nothing in that class. Well, actually there is. There's a variable and a function in it thanks to this right here. So we can go ahead and um, echo out something like child object and like P1. And just go ahead and way too lazy to type all that. All right, copy that and by the way, if you have a Mac and a PC, you always, I always do this, instead of um, hitting like copy and paste, I always accidentally hit FN copy and paste and it's annoying because the command key and the control key are different on the two keyboards. So anyways, watch out for that if you have both computers because it's uh, extremely annoying. So well, we definitely should change that. Some, did I spell that right? I guess we'll find out in a little bit. So anyways, check this out. I made a child object right here and I echoed out the variable and the function. And you're saying, all right, Bucky, but didn't you forget to type that in that class right there? Well, since it inherited from the parent class, what it did was it take took everything from the parent class and threw in the child class. So even though we can't see it, it's there, trust me. So let me go ahead and save this and uh, open up my Google Chrome right there refreshing move this over connection what's going on here oh I see it like disconnected because I was inactive for 15 seconds okay overwrite that oh, oh my god since I'm uploading this video everything's going slow but let's go ahead and refresh my web page now and check this out I am a variable there's my variable right here and I am funky monkey there's my function right here so what we did, if I can move this out of the way, where's text wrangler now? All right, so what we did is we made a parent class right here, and we pretty much made two classes, class A and class B. Now we wanted everything from class A to go in the class B, but we were way too lazy to type it. So what we can do instead is write extends the parent, right like that. And now this class B has this variable, and this function without without having to retype it. And if we went ahead and made another variable and set it equal to like nine, it would have this variable, this variable, and this function. So that's pretty much the concept behind inheritance without my uh, messed up pseudocoder right there. It's pretty much a way of getting everything from one class into another class without having to retype it or copy and paste or anything like that. So don't read any books because they give you the most weirdest most messed up analogies and metaphors and it just confuses you that's all inheritance is right there so anyways thank you guys for watching uh don't forget to subscribe i'm going to try to figure out how to use my mac and uh i guess i'll see you next tutorial